Good evening, Randomania community. Um, I am Lady Id. I am joined by Xenocat tonight for round three of the Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise Lolly Lolly Low League match uh, between Slippery and Jeebus. Xenocat, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing quite well. Thank you, Lady Id. Um, before anyone in chat starts speculating, these objectives were written before the seed was rolled. This is entirely coincidental. Yes, our um, wonderful tracker, uh, Scythe Marcher, M- Scythe Marshall, and our restreamer, Dathis, were both very excited uh, because they, um, <laughs> well, were giddy about the, uh, the, the the text and also about our objectives. Um, and yes, I have to say, yeah, I, I'm getting a, quite a good chuckle out of this. Yep, <sighs> nothing like a nice limerick about Rydia casting Bahamut with a Rydia start. Uh, but how about our objectives tonight? Yeah, how about them? So a Rydia start. Um, um, if I'm a racer, thanks, I hate it. Um, but, you know, there's that fourth objective, get Edge. Uh, that fifth objective, get Edward. Of course, in this flag set, the first three objectives are, are always the same. It's always going to be complete Cave Magnus. It's always going to be Forge the Legend Sword with Adam in it. It's, or you're always going to have to trade away the Pink Tail. Um, but what are you thinking about your two character objectives? Uh, does that change where you go or, you know, what your mindset is? Uh, in my opinion, uh, that means I'm much more likely to look for uh, character spots specifically especially i'm a little bit relieved about the lack of a boss hunt because that means once demist is found there's no reason to check any more boss spots yeah with that um no free key items um flag on you know when we find our uh our demist that means that uh we'll be able to turn that in once we've beaten her uh turn that in for a key item um so yeah it's a very nice feeling to know you won't have to go hunting through Miss Cave or Watery Pass or any other spot, uh, the giant, um, you know, for Miss Dragon, but um, still have to find her first. Uh, she could absolutely be coming into play tonight. Indeed, she could be anywhere from somewhere as nice and easy as say the Mount Hobbs or the Antlion Cave, which our runners are very likely to check early on, or she could be hiding away in the Giant of Babel or say, at the King Queen Evelyn spot on a Magma Key Seed. So, Demist could be as easy as uh, can be to find, or she can be quite rude. But it does look like our runners are off. Okay, so we have a Sid, we have a Lunar Sparkle, oh my goodness, and that is an early darkness start. Okay. <laughs> okay. That is, that is a start. Yeah. Um, to answer a question in chat, so, um, there's the, we randomize all the, uh, all the bosses, um, you know, in the game. Um, and one of the flags we have, uh, we have to hunt for can hunt for uh, D-Mist, and when we beat D-Mist, uh, we return to Rydia's mom um, in Mist Village, and Rydia's mom will potentially give us a key item. Yep. And there are some very easy to access boss spots. There's boss spots that are on the way, and there are some boss spots that are not on the way to anything. Uh, but that's a, our first duplicate character already of this seed, a Sid having brunch with a wall in Baron Inn. What do you think about the um, play by Jeebus? You know, not to not to check that um, Darkness Crystal right away for that character check. Um, you know, I, I, if it were me, I'm going right for it. But Jeebus is a, a fantastic um, racer, knows what they're doing. Um, just curious what your thoughts are. I don't hate this play at all. There's some decent loot in the Baron Town just because there's a fair amount of density and it's right there, you start right there. Plus, you do get a peek at that character in the Baron Inn. 
but it doesn't look like Jeebus is going to put off raising that big whale too long as he's headed right to Mysidia to get that moon access. Yeah, I mean, obviously there's a couple of characters that our uh, racers would love to see. Um, you know, Edge, uh, of course, certainly for early game. Um, Eddie, you know, it, it, it great for the objective. Um, you, I, I think you would honestly probably um, dislike that one, you know, the most. Uh, Cecil, you see Cecil, that means, you know, you're going to try to get to ordeals as soon as possible. Um, Fu, you know, Fu would be great, even though you won't have all the spells unlocked right away. But um, there's certainly a variety of characters you'd love to see, you know, with this, um, you know, with this start. Yeah, uh, Rydia being one of the weaker characters on this bike set, and Sid being fairly decent, but most of his work ends up being as an anchor in the late game, which is not really the character that you want to see for damage. Yeah, I mean, you know, he, he's a fantastic anchor, but... Uh... Certainly, yeah, as far as late game goes, um, does not hold his own. He can he can help in a pinch, but not the character you're hoping to see. And there's our edge on the moon. That's already objective four complete. And that's a phenomenal character to have this early in the game. Oh, absolutely. It's going to help just so much to carry you through uh, a lot of these early checks. Um, you know, Sid starts out with fantastic um, HP, but his damage, um, you know, isn't all that phenomenal. His accuracy with the weapons he can equip isn't that great. Um, so, yeah, you, 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 you love to see it, but you also know if you're a racer that you, the person you're racing against is also going to be having access to that edge. So, you know, you might find yourself getting in your head, um, you know, thinking like, well, okay, I, I've got to, I've got to try to do whatever I'm going to do and try to do it quick because the other racer is going to have access to the same thing that I do. Indeed, but uh, Slippery did show us that there are long swords for sale in uh, the Mysidia weapon shop as well, which could be a huge advantage for him if Jeebus doesn't check that weapon shop as Edge. The one disadvantage of Edge on this flag is the C-Necky flag means that Edge doesn't start with all that great gear that he usually comes with. And those long swords, I mean, an Edge with a long sword, with two long swords and some decent uh, strength boosting gear, it is a perfectly viable damage dealer into the end game. Absolutely. And, you know, we see uh, Jeebus going through um, Cave Bahamut. Uh, this is a great place to pick up some, you know, higher tier loot. Uh, it's a good thing about getting this Darkness Crystal. And, you know, as our um, tracker has pointed out, you get a peek at that um, Bahamut spot, uh, which I don't think um, I could be wrong. I don't think anybody's going to be taking that Golbez there anytime soon. Yeah, that is, that is not a pleasant fight, uh, really, anywhere, but uh, especially not there. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you have the Star Veils, um, it's just, there's a, a lot of HP to go through, you have the cutscene to sit through, you know, um, you, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna put that off uh, as long as humanly possible. Indeed, and without a good anchoring situation, uh, the odds are fairly slim of even getting one of those Star Veils off before Golbez just hits your party with a high enough power spell to knock you down. Both of our runners are back um, you know, on the Blue Planet. Um, we see Jeebus. Um, looks like they're going to be making a play for uh, Antlion now. Um, and we do see Slippery going back, actually, and grabbing those long, grabbing one um, longsword, it, it looks like, as you mentioned. So that was a, that's a good call. Yep, that longsword will really help out Edge's damage in this early game. But Jeebus, an uh, interesting point, thing to note, found a curse string in the Antlion Cave. The curse string is basically your anchor in a box. Uh, slap it on 
any character and it lowers all their stats by 15, which is really good for having a really slow character to make all your other characters faster. Uh, Rydia um, learning Ashura for Slippery. Slippery deciding to go to Hobbs to get that free, um, you know, summon check. And you, um, you know, aside from self, I think, you know, Ashura would be the one you would want to, uh, you know, want to see. Yep. Um, we did have the Black Mage starter kit in the Antlion Save Room with a Stardust Rod and a Sorcerer Robe. Just sitting in random chests. Yeah, that might be one of the best antlion caves I've seen um, on this flag set. It's certainly up there. A cursed ring and a Stardust Rod, a Stardust Rod alone? Oh my goodness. Uh, it's, it's too much. I've seen one antlion that's maybe a little bit more ridiculous than that, but that was a truly ridiculous antlion. There was like a white spear, a power shirt, a Zeus gauntlet, Truly a statistical anomaly. But still, this is a very solid antlion. Absolutely. Uh, Slippery um, going and grabbing that Edward, getting that objective number um, five. That's very interesting. So we have both of our character objectives um, out of the way. Um, you know, eight minutes into the sea, there's objective four and, and five right there. Yep, and we have a legend sword in Antlion Cave. That's even more value. Well, um, okay. <laughs> so here's the point where you know you, you might be thinking this is a jetty seed, and and, and can absolutely, um, you know, be a jetty seed, or it could grind to a halt. But um, having two of your objectives done. Um, you know, I will uh, note, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's not clear from uh, watching, but you only have to complete four of your five objectives to get your crystal uh, to go fight Zeromis. So our racers right now are an adamant rock away and um, a harp from essentially go mode at this point. Indeed, especially with all, having that Darkness Crystal start, they already have access to Zeromus as soon as they complete their objectives. And the Chibis heading up Mount Hobbs to get his Edward. It looks like Slippery is going to be heading into the Antlion Nest, where, you know, Antlion decided to leave his nest and climb up the neighboring mountain. Yeah, and um, also getting the good news that there, there's that curse ring there. Um, you know, it's very it's very easy to actually skip over those chests. Um, you know, and a lot of racers, myself included, you know, skip looting. You know, ant line the the majority of ant line unless it's um, on the way. So you know, those are. You know, finding that Ogre Axe is, is a nice pickup, and but that Curse Ring just being right off to the west as soon as you enter, that's a very easy to just skip chest. Um, so the fact that both racers have picked it up is just fantastic for them. Indeed. Um, looks like Jeebus is going to stick to following the vanilla uh, order of things, other than that one little uh, sequence break up to the moon and is going to be heading to defend the ghoul. That's a dancing dagger on that, Edward. That's really nice. Yeah, I, you, you know, you may not need it, um, you know, with that edge swinging away, but it's nice to nice to have if you, you know, can have, kind of feel awkward, you know, with this amount of characters to kind of have to, you know, um, circle through their um, their turns, but yeah, having a Dancing Dagger does provide um, Eddie with some nice early damage. Yep. Uh, and there, um, there um, you know, that I will say is not going to be long for this world in um, for Bull Defense. Yep, it does look like Jeebus did put the Curse String on Edge. This makes sense from the standpoint that he doesn't have a good weapon for Edge, as Edge just came with a Poison Claw, which is essentially useless on him. 
It gives him a plus three bonus to strength, but uh, it doesn't have any attack power. Right, because Jeebus didn't go to Missidia to pick up a long sword. So yeah, they're they're just kind of rocking, yeah, poison call right now. Um, Jeebus does pick up that earth crystal though, which I would have to imagine um, that you know he will go uh, go check right now. You know, not only for the treasury, but um, that's two bosses. That's a key item check. Yeah, I will say the treasury on this flag set seems to always have Murasames in it. Yeah, so with this flag set, there are no no tier seven um, items available in untrapped chests. So you're gonna find a lot of uh, you know tier five, tier six items, and, and a lot of times you can find you'll find duplicates of those items. You you'll find like you said your your multiples of your Murasames or glass hats. Um, you know, it's very easy to find some very good, very good loot here. Um, and Slippery going to be, you know, heading down the same path, so they'll be rewarded right. as well when they yeah. do this. Well, we found a couple of weapons for Edge, but mostly weapons for Kane. It looks like in that treasury. Yeah, treasury um, was not, uh, I guess. To put it kindly, not the uh, most helpful for you know this team for our runners. Um, you know we've certainly seen better, but you know as our uh, you know trackers point out, a moon veil is there, which early game, mid game, you know even late game can very much come in handy um, if you run into a very uh, punchy boss. For sure, and uh, even though we don't have a cane at the moment, some of those spears can be darted by Edge to do a decent amount of damage. And, you know, a middle sword, short sword Edge is better than an Edge with a poison claw. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, you'll take what you can get. Um, you know, if you get to a certain point, you know, uh, you may decide you're set with your team. You may just start chucking those spears um, just to push out some damage and, you know, maybe perhaps get a kind of an edge over your uh, fellow racer. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep, yeah, uh, looks like uh, Jeebus is done with the cursed ring on edge, but there's not that much strength gear to go around. There's a, there is a glass hat. Uh, that's a little bit nice, I suppose. You don't hate a glass hat. 30 physical defense, um, very, you know, offers very great protection, um, you know, early game against any punchy bosses. Well, look at that boss. That's um, French vanilla. <laughs> uh, if there's any time to start throwing the darts, it, it, it's now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, 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 you don't want to try to... Um, to break through through this with just your straight physical, um, you know, fight command, um, you know, and Jeebus anchoring situation is so great that Val, you know, he was able to take off uh, three, four actions before Val even went into her tornado. So you'd love to see that. Indeed, um, looks like it is going to be equipping Edge now after throwing a couple of spears. Yeah, uh, you know, the unfortunate part, you know, once she enters that tornado, um, her magic defense just goes through the roof and, you know, um, that dancing dagger that starred us, they're, magic, they're considered magic attacks and uh, as you see, do one damage. Uh, they're not going to be putting out any work, so you're going to be relying on um, Edge. And uh, Jeebus is throwing that White Spear, so he's really hoping that he's not going to be finding an Edge. Or, I'm sorry, a Cane. Yep, uh, that Edge not able to hit through Valvalis' tornado from the back row. Uh, um, there's the Cane. So what do you do? Do you res... Well, mm -hmm. you can't... I, yeah... <laughs> He you still can't got really reset friend. out because you can't get through that fight. No, he still but... got an, He still has a blizzard spear. There was a blizzard spear in the treasury, which you cannot throw. So, Kane's at least got that. 
And we have... Ah, we have a punch mage coming with us as well. Punch Mage is not coming with us, and didn't even have the decency to give us uh, an Elemental Claw, as he came with a Charm Claw. That's interesting. Um, so I, I guess they're, you know, Jeebus is just banking on just making Eddie the, you know, the anchor, which, you know, isn't, is, if you're going to pick somebody as the anchor, there's a perfect anchor for you. Yep. Uh, Eddie should work pretty well with the Cursed Ring, as long as he doesn't get too many levels. And it looks like Jeebus' plan for Kane was the Ogre Axe, which... Another wep another very solid weapon that can't be darted. Slippery deciding to try to Berserk, um, you know, his edge. Um, I'd be curious to see if it pays off, if he can actually hit through. Um, through this or not. Um, that is a, you know, uh, Ogo Pogo. Um, I, I don't think this is going to prove too much of a uh, problem for Jeebus, but, um, you know, between the Sid and the, and the Edge, I think he's going to be all right, but uh, he does still punch very hard here. Yep, that is a pretty rude notebook. especially considering the speed of this spot. Yeah, um, and, you know, come to think of it now, Edge has no real weapons to throw, so he's putting out about four or 500 damage uh, a swing, so um, this, could be, this could be a rough spot. Yep, meanwhile, it looks like Slippery has decided to nope out of that Valvalis in... Zot and has decided to instead go try Mount Ordeals. Um, yeah, I, if you if you want to, you know, I guess that the feeling is if you, you want to hang on to those spears, save them for something else. Um, it might be the right play because Jeebus is, is kind of having a rough go and actually decides just to nope, to nope out of the entire um, Zot instead, so... Uh, yeah. Actually, Slippery now, you know, kind of has gained the, uh, you know, kind of gained the edge. Um, going to be the first one going toward deals. Uh, Jeebus instead going to be going to Baron Inn to um, check out those two spots there. Yep. Uh, that Tower of Zot was very rude, so I don't blame either of these runners for making the decisions that they've made. Yeah, both very, you know, very experienced runners. They're not going to, you know, if, if a boss is going to um, take a lot of time or if it's going to take them, um, you know, a lot of effort, they're just going to get out of it. Oh, and there's our Mist Dragon right, uh, right in the first check of ordeals. Yep, so our boss hunt is over for this seed. We have found the Mist Dragon at the front spot of ordeals. There will be no checking of the miscellaneous boss spots to look for a mist dragon. At this point, giant cannot have any value in it. Yeah. Um, again, you know, if you're you're a racer, you you both love to see it and maybe dislike to see it because again, this is another um, in another scenario uh, where you know ordeals is an early check. Although without a Cecil. Ordeals is a very easy place to fade until later, so depending on what this Mist Dragon gives us, Jeebus may not um, decide to, you know, go after Ordeals. Um, but, you know, it all kind of depends on what we get out of this uh, Baron spot, too. Yeah, uh, we have the Nook Turtle on the back attack of Mount Ordeals. Uh, this is not a terrible spot to see him. Uh, doesn't have too much HP, doesn't have too much punching power. Yeah, those waves, um, if he does happen to actually get some off, won't be doing nearly that much damage. Uh, Jeebus um, getting the pan, which is nice when we go underground, um, but we still have to find a way to, to get underground, and um, it's either going to be um, through Zot, 
Uh, or it is going to be through our deals. It has to be through our deals because Valvalis cannot gate our only our logical way underground. Yeah, so that's right. You're absolutely that right. is yeah. not going to be underground access. It's got to be either through this ordeals check itself or through Demist. Uh, to answer a question in chat, yes, Kibis got Party Rock from Fabul. The Earth Crystal was the reward for defending Fabul. Kibis heading up uh, ordeals now themselves. Um, meanwhile, um, Slippery is going to be rewarded with their uh, their key item. Um, I'm not sure. I. Not sure if you saw that. I didn't see it pop up on the screen. I didn't see it. The item went by too quickly. Our tracker uh, will be taking care of that. They'll let us know what they got. Um, of course, a, a very free fight in that King, Queen, and Ablin. Um, and, you know, as soon as we find out what this is, um, I mean, regardless, they're going to be going back to Mist to check that key item. Um, you know, I think that's the first thing you do, regardless of what you get, even if it is your underground. Well, hopefully. Uh, in a spot like this, where Mist Dragon is the first, or D-Mist is the first, uh, boss in a set of three bosses that you have to fight, it can be very easy to forget that you bought Demist at the end of Mono Deals. Our tracker believes that is a uh, Mass Immune uh, that they got based on uh, looking at Slippery's inventory. Um, you know, they were just we're having a little bit of a skipping issues, you know, with their stream. Um, but yeah, if that's all it is. Um, you know, you're not happy, but you, you also still have that D-Mist to check. Yep, that is a very good weapon, though, for considering both runners have edge. Uh, Jeebus will appreciate that a lot, I am sure, as uh, it's a, definitely a big upgrade from a middle sword or a short sword. That's true. It, it is kind of almost, well, not quite a Crystal Sword or Excal Cecil, but it is uh, certainly a long way away from our Poison uh, Claw Star Edge. Death is making a great point that Masamune would really help out with pushing through that Tower of Zod as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised Slippery um, not immediately going for um, that Demis check. Um, I guess just figures Baron ends on the way. Maybe just figures it's just a logical, um, you know, way to go. It's it's on the way to miss, so why not just do it while they're there? Perhaps uh, you may also not remember killing Demis, as it's, it's easy to do with a multi-part boss, but I hope for his sake that he remembers to go to Mist Village after this check. Yeah, they had no problems whatsoever getting through that Dark Elf. Um, Jeebus uh, going into ordeals, going to be getting the, um, you know, uh, news, uh, whether you know, they consider it good or not. I would consider it good, but getting that mass immune and, um, you know, as uh, our trackers confirmed, the stream confirms it is a mass immune. I mean, if I'm in Jeebus' shoes, I'm definitely happy to see that, uh, considering this edge is it's a ridiculous damage upgrade for edge. I think probably quadrupling his damage at this point. Yeah, and, and plus with all the XP we've been taking, you know, uh, it makes getting through that that Ogo uh, in Zot um, not free, but certainly uh, a heck of a lot easier than it, than it was the first go around. Indeed. Uh, it does look like Slippery did not forget about Bee Mist. So we'll be seeing shortly what our underground access is.
or we will be seeing it in a little bit more time because we have to do Baron Castle first. Well, um, yeah, um, you, you figure probably that's your 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 better bet. Although we do have a lunar sparkle waiting for us, um, you know, in the Bygan spot. So you know, our our runners hopefully remember that, or at least Slippery hopefully remembers that. I'm I'm sure it does. It's, we'll be taking that fine. into account. Yeah. In case we, we see that wyvern pop up well we know it can't be wyvern wyvern can't get underground access that's a good point yeah because we have that val it's uh, um and, and yeah we can't have uh wyvern in uh baron yeah so yeah and jeebus will also know that it's not ogopogo because he saw ogopogo up in zot too so we know that this can only be between uh pale dim d winners or plague Yeah, a lot of rude bosses out of the way early, which um, which you like to see. Yep, although we've also seen King Queen Eblon out of the way already, which is not exactly what you like to see as a runner. Uh, no, you don't. Certainly not in probably the freest, um, freest spots for bosses. Um, Jeebus checking out this uh, Baron shop before diving, uh, picking up some samurai bow uh, or samurai arrows, excuse me. Uh, meanwhile, Slippery is just heading right on in, going to be hitting that save point, and then they'll be checking out that Lunar Sparkle boss. Looks like Jeebus is hot on Slippery's heels, heading into this Baron Castle check. Does find a power shirt in that uh, waterway there. That'll be extremely helpful. Yeah, another another set of chests that um, you know you're a half hour into the seed, uh, you, you may not be incentivized to check but they they can pay off again they're 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 going to be higher tiered you know um items you know uh because they're behind a gated uh key item and uh, meanwhile we see slippery does find the d lunars here um you know in the buy good spot yeah these are a little rude especially with uh sid's only method of attacking being the fight command which the d lunars will counter with uh, a virus script, which is kind of nasty, but it looks like Slippery is through. Ooh, that edge in the back row not doing as much damage as I think Jeebus hoped it would. And that's that's a rude Baron Thorn boss. Yeah, that's another um, extra, roughly what ten thousand hit points slapped onto this spot. Um, you know they'll get through it, but it's gonna take it's gonna take time to kind of slog your way through this. Yep, not a very threatening uh, boss spot, so my mom shouldn't be able to knock down any of the party members, but uh, we'll still take a while just due to the mom bum adding on an extra 9,000 hit points, giving this spot a little over triple the HP that it normally has. Yeah, as our uh, trackers pointed out, um, you know, if they don't get through this mom bomb before it explodes, which they won't, there's always a Stardust Rod to help clean up the remainder of bombs. Um, so, you know, not going to be an issue. Yeah, and just a simple AOE attack will uh, 
wipe out all six of these bombs, or... Or... Uh, apparently not. Oh. They have... Those little bombs have, uh, way more HP than I would have thought in this spot. And we have finally found our second decent endgame damage dealing character in Palom. Yeah, Slippery deciding to um, take out, swap out that Sid for uh, that Palom, which I, I think is a fantastic move. Yep. Uh, just want to give a quick shout out to PK4787. Thank you so much for the raid. Yeah, we're just coming in. Um, we were about 33 minutes into the uh, seed, the Slippery and Jeebus, and uh, we should be finding out that uh, this underground access uh, will be in this barren trash can momentarily. And we have a hook. That's a bit of a, a monkey's paw wish. Um, it's not the magma key you're hoping for. Uh, it does require you to get the hovercraft, and it does require you to go through the hook route, which um, could be two very rude bosses gating your path. Um, of course, we won't know till we get there. So, oh, I mean, we've already seen Evil Wall, I think. We've all, or have we? I've played too many seasons. We have seen so. Evil Wall. Oh, yeah, good. So. I'm not making that up. We've seen Ogopogo, we've seen Kainazo. We've seen the big three rude ones. Yeah, I guess at this point, you know, what are you hoping it's not? Um, you know, uh, probably uh, obvious one would be Rubicante, you know, with all these melee characters, you know, getting that Palm, um, it's gonna take some time to get Palm online. Um, uh, what else would you not like to see, you know, in that Rubicante spot? Biden would be pretty rude. Biden would be, I think, probably, yeah, the rudest <laughs> um, of rudest boss bosses that are left. Um, you know, even that King Queen Ebon spot can, you know, can be a, you know, an issue. Yep. Uh... I don't believe we've seen Dark Knight Cecil. Uh, Dark Knight Cecil would certainly be, yeah, would certainly be a problem. Um, however, uh, if we still have an Eddie, you know, that is one viable option to get around those dark waves. Indeed, and I don't believe either of our runners have ditched that Edward yet. confirmed uh, I see Eddie on slippery side um, so you know that's another good reason to keep Eddie around um, dare I say maybe one of the only good reasons to keep Eddie around uh, you know excuse you <laughs> well we have not found a spoon yet so uh, unfortunately you know Eddie I, I would hate to say is kind of dead weight at the moment Uh, I mean, he can toss a dancing dagger, but until he gets his ultimate weapon on these flags, which is the spoon, it's so ultimate that it's a key item. Uh, Eddie's not going to be doing too great, although Slippery finding a ninja sword in this Ebon weapon shop. Yeah, pair with that Mass Immune um, is just going to be just fantastic. Yeah, I, I don't think Edge needs any more weapons for the rest of the seed. Uh, and Jeebus deciding just to hightail it down, um, finding a Purim and finding um, one of the Mylons, either Mylon Z or Mylon and Friends. Uh, we won't know till we get down there, but um, either one, not, not particularly bad. Yeah, I think you'd like, you know... I don't think you mind seeing um, either one of them at this point. No, they're relatively safe fights to take for the ruby spot. Uh, Mylon and friends will have a bunch of guests with him, but once you take out his friends, 
Uh, he doesn't do much but punch, and the punches at Ruby are not super scary. And then he casts Lit 1, and Lit 1 is not a scary spell. You guys looking um, to, you know, dive these uh, battle chests, you know, setting his party up to, uh, you know, get ready to take on that Mad Ogre chest, which is a, a, a will provide a good influx. Um, gets lucky on the on the first one that he that he peeps. Um, yeah, will provide a massive influx uh, of uh, XP. This Hourglass 2 means that they're only going to be getting four punches off, and then after that, they'll be stopped for a healthy amount of time. Um, and then Jeebus will have, you know, ways uh, to take out these Mad Ogres and hopefully get some light punches off. Yep, and it looks like uh, Sid either has an Ogre Axe or a Rune Axe equipped, which is really helping him get through these Mad Ogres. And also using this edge really heads up play here to steal a few Bacchus Wines. That is an amazing, yeah. Uh, it, we've seen some runners do that, but not, you know, not too many. Um, I would certainly be more focused on taking out these mad ogres. So that is just, yeah, that's an amazing heads up play. Yep. Uh, Slippery, uh, not having Sid anymore, having ditched him for the forum, will have to do a little bit more improvising to get through these mad ogres. But it does look like has some charm arrows flying around, which will do the trick. Yeah, it's going to be a little a little slower to get through, but um, still going to be safe for them to get through it. Yep, and well, that's not the amazing item you're hoping for out of that trap chest. The real goal in getting through that trap chest was the experience we got along the way. So, and the black shirt is going to be nice for Palin. Yeah, not bad. I mean, you know, so early on, you know, to help push us through this, um, you know, this hook route. Um, and who knows, may end up just rocking that black shirt for the remainder of the seed. Yeah, uh, the black shirt has been fixed in Free Enterprise, so instead of giving the plus five to Will that it did in vanilla it now properly gives the plus five to wisdom which is the black magic casting stat makes perfect sense why you wouldn't have a black shirt give uh willpower I, I i don't see anything wrong with that well see it it would be fine except that uh, the white mages can't equip it it's only for black mages makes perfect sense to me i i mean it, it's a nice little extra boost to magic evade i suppose Getting, um, getting his party outfitted, uh, preparing for, you know, this first um, boss in the King Queen Eblin. Um, going to be getting that Eddie, putting um, that Eddie uh, in the middle row, getting that curse ring on. Uh, I think that's kind of a, you know, no-brainer here for for him. And um, yeah, uh, very soon we'll be seeing who this is. Well, uh, this is a pretty free hook route. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> um, yeah, especially where we are 41 minutes into this. Uh, you have Hourglass 2s, um, you have Coffins. Um, Jeebus going to be using a Coffin on that officer. Now those soldiers um, will not be given commands and instead will choose to punch each other as they are taken out by the rest of Jeebus' party. Indeed, and with the high physical attack power here, uh, those soldiers are very eager to take themselves out. Um, you almost wonder if Jeebus is going to just not bother saving and just go right into this fight, which it looks like they are indeed going to be doing. Um, don't blame them for this in the least bit. And Mylon has shown up in his Zed form. Yeah, with uh, with his anchoring situation, um, Mylon's not going to be getting a lot of uh, uh, 
punches off. Uh, this is going to be really, really safe. Um, yeah, uh, it, it's the fine play to make. Indeed. Unfortunately, uh, won't be able to take advantage of the weaknesses that Mylon has. Uh, Mylon is weak to a lot of things, but uh, he just doesn't really have a good way to do uh, sort of flying damage. With his only bow, I think, being that crossbow that Palum had equipped. He does have a does have an um, an archer bow, but yeah, it's still not going to be putting out. Um, yeah, uh, phenomenal damage. Yep, no source of holy damage. Uh, Alum could use some fire twos to do some decent damage, but uh, that it would help if he didn't get knocked down. Yeah, uh, punching slow, but s still punching hard. And if you have your your Palum in the front row, uh, it's kind of the you know you, you choosing to keep that sit in that back row, uh, which you know it's not a bad uh, a bad idea, but does mean unfortunately that uh, that Palum is just really getting sniped at the moment. Yep. Uh, goodness. Oh, finally. Jeez. Will Palum get a fire or two off? Yeah. Uh, Slippery, meanwhile, pulling out about 2k damage. Um, although Jeebus really actually is putting out about the same amount of damage. Uh, I, I forget what they have through. Um, but at 43 minutes and about uh, 35 seconds, they are through this hook route, and they're going to be our first runner on the ground. Yep. Uh, and I think I saw that right. Uh, that's a quack kid online for Jeebus. Yeah, um, and to write uh, as you know, point out by chat and tracker and our streamer. Yeah. Uh, fortunately we're having some frame issues on slippery side. Um, you know, so we'll do the best we can to keep track of what's going on, uh, with their action. Uh, meanwhile, Jeebus does scout out that, um, uh, you know, lower babble spot does find a Leviathan waiting there. Yeah, uh, Leviathan's not too bad there. Uh, the magic power at that spot is very low, and Leviathan uh, doesn't do any physical attacks. So, not too much danger from that levy. So where do you think Jeebus heads next? I, I, my thinking is turn in this pan. You have this pan right away. Um, and yeah, that's exactly where uh, Jeebus is gonna go. It's the logical choice. You have a key item in hand, um, you'll get the, the one check out of the way, and then when you go back up to Earth, you'll get uh, two more uh, key item checks from Sheila. Yep, uh, this is definitely the play to make if you're wanting to get the items the fastest. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, this really has been a, a close race. I mean, Slippery is through that Mylon Z. He's hot on the heels of uh, Jeebus. So, I mean, this is this is extremely close. <laughs> um, I, I, I wouldn't give the edge, really, to either of our runners right now. Uh, well, uh, I mean, that Dragon Whip does favor Slippery's party a little bit more than Jeebus's. Well, that's that's a positive way of looking at that reward, I suppose. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, although, in all seriousness, I don't expect either runner to make much use of that dragon whip. Although it does, it would be not, it does help out with an egg grind. That is true. Uh, very interesting play by Jeebus. Um, you know, not going for the Fey March freebie, uh, choosing instead to. You know, check these Sheila, Sheila one and, and two checks. Um, you know, could find a tower key, which would, you know, uh, could help out your, you know, underground checks. Um, I, I think it's, I, I like the play personally. Uh, 
or we could find the other half of Forge and the Rat Tail here in Sheila from Sheila. Yep, Sheila has definitely given us um, given us the goods tonight. Um, so yeah, that's that's objective number two. That's three of our four objectives that we need, and who knows what this rat tail could turn into. Indeed, if this rat tail turns into the pink tail, which is one of my favorite interactions in the in free enterprise, we could have a real exciting race. Yeah, um, I don't know that we've seen sirens yet, although we've really only checked one uh, gated shop so far, but yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, thank goodness, you know, we're at least, I, I'll speak for myself, that I'm, I'm commentating and not racing this because I would not know what to do with myself um, if this does turn into the pink tail or, um, you know, uh, the uh, heart. But in this case, it just turns into a Luca key. Uh, so that's just another rabbit hole to go down. Yep. Uh, meanwhile, Slippery has shown us that there are sirens available if you stop by Tamra. And Job Dwarf is a criminal investigator. Ooh, okay. Um, Jeebus, meanwhile, will be uh, turning in that objective. Uh, smart, you know, it just gets it done, gets it out of the way. Um, it's not something you have to worry about later. You're already in the underground, so... Yeah, I think it's the right play to make. Plus, this does give Jeebus access to Coco's shop, which is one of the best shops in the game. I believe the only shop that can have tier six items in it. Uh, nothing that interests Jeebus for now, though. And a free Excal, which is a very good weapon for Cecil, or, you know, Edge can throw it. Yeah. Um, does have that option, <laughs> uh, which is, you know, always an, un an unfortunate uh, drawback if you don't find a Cecil, but um, is a nice, you know, value prize if you have an edge, which both of our runners do. Uh, looks like Slippery decided to dive down into the Fey March real quick before heading back up to turn in the Shiwa checks. But uh, I think we missed what he got out of that uh, preview, although it looks like Jeebus will be showing us pretty shortly. Yeah, um, you know, while we wait on these Fey March boss checks and this um, uh, key item check. Um, and... uh, oh, OK, well. well... Uh, <laughs> Never mind. Um, yep. That's go mode with the pink tail. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, we ha we have go mode. I, I was I I, <laughs> I was saying while we had some downtime to plug our restreamer our tracker, but uh, we no longer have downtime. We have instant go mode. Yeah. Uh, I guess well, uh, Jeebus gets his grind sorted out. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to, first of all, these our runners for agreeing to be restreamed and putting on this show for us. Uh, shout outs to Dathis for doing the restreaming, rolling the seed, all the behind the scenes work. And shout outs to Scythe Marshall for pushing the buttons in uh, this rapidly resolving seed. Yeah, um, you know. We kind of started out early with the darkness crystal. We started out, um, you know, it, it, it lagged for a, a little bit, but um, yeah, it, it really, it, it heated up very quickly <laughs> uh, to the point, you know, where, um, yeah, uh, we had our first two uh, character objectives, um, both on uh, Moon and uh, through Hobbs. And then, you know, very quickly, you know, getting that forge and getting that pink tail. So, yeah, um, the, the good thing for Jeebus is, you know, he has 10 key items. So he's going, um, going to be able to get that double XP boost out of these uh, eggs and going to be getting his party 
very much online very quickly for this uh, for his uh, upcoming Z fight. Um, unfortunately, Slippery, you know, uh, decided to do that um, Ashura spot with the, the soldiers and gets his other um, underground access uh, available to him. Well, uh, at least it's another key item. Yeah, it is, but we know that that pan turns into, um, you know, that rat tail and... Um, yeah, uh, but yeah, it is. It is a ten key item. That's that's one way of looking at it. Yeah, uh, uh, I don't expect Slippery to put off checking uh, the Shiva checks for too much longer. But oh, oh goodness. Yeah, I mean when you when. You're just looking for key items. There, there's kind of no point on going through Dr uh, Dwarf Castle because we're not looking for bosses. Um, we're not looking for characters. We just want, um, you know, we just want one key item at this point. So yeah, Slippery is going to be, um, you know, turning in that pink tail, and then I would imagine we'll be turning in that Sheila check as soon right after. Uh, I don't hate this play at all. Uh, the nice thing for Slippery is that uh, Slippery will not have to turn in the rat tail, so won't lose any of the efficiency of uh, getting the getting these checks done. Won't have to come back to the adamant grotto because I believe with that magma key in hand, we'll get the tenth. We'll have ten key items before uh, he gets to his grind. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and Jeebus, um, very quickly, you know, Sid's already got 2,500 HP, um, getting, you know, the, the kids online, um, gonna be ready, you know, I'd say another, yeah, they're probably just gonna be using up the last bit of their five sirens and they're gonna be good to go. Yep. Uh, Sid's already looking pretty beefy. Uh, Edge is starting to get up there. As well, I don't think this will be a play to get Palom all the way to Nuke. No. Um, you know, as, as seasoned as these runners are, you know, they're going to, uh, yeah, I, I can see them going in with underleveled, um, you know, uh, party members uh, looking to probably nerf some big banks, um, but just looking to, uh, you know, uh, not go into this as safe as possible, um, you know, just to get as, you know, as, as little as you can and then just get going. Indeed. Uh, Slippery, it looks like, did turn in the rat tail, perhaps hoping for a pass from that rat tail turn in, which would have saved a lot of time. Uh, no walk down the LST. But uh, just getting the bad news that it's a Luka key, uh, it's not worth diving sealed cave for anything. Just just leave that alone. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's the one that you just don't bother chasing. Um... You know, maybe if you feel like you're you're really behind, and you know, but there's there's really no boss that could be waiting there uh, that you could get through that quickly, warp out that you know would be worth using that pass for. Yeah, uh, there's honestly, I don't think the pass even saves the walk in the sealed cave and the warping out. Now, uh, Slippery getting his crystal, um, you know, going to uh, sell some stuff here, um, you know, perhaps going to be buying some crystal rings, um, you know, 
which isn't a bad, um, you know, a bad suggestion or a bad idea to, you know, if you're going to get these kids, uh, you know, lower levels to get them, um, you know, some decent gear to survive some of these big bangs. Indeed, if you're... The Crystal Rings are excellent, especially for agility on that Palum, if, you know, Eddie is a fairly fast character, and if he gets uh, a little bit uh, too fast, then Palum might have some issues being fast enough to stay relative agility 1. I don't think the Edward is high enough level for that, but those Crystal Rings will help out with that agility, and of course, they provide a lot of magic defense. Yeah, I was paying attention to Slippery's side. Did Jeebus go back and buy more Sirens? Because um, I, I thought I, they were down to a, a handful, and then I looked over and, and saw three. So I think he went and, and got some more Sirens. Yep. It looks like uh, did complete the grind to Nuke. And, that uh, is pointed uh, out, yeah, that Jeebus bought 15 Sirens on the, on the first go-through. Okay. Um, Jeebus? Jeebus, where are you going? Jeebus, you you, oh, no. you still have a, you still have an objective to do. Oh no, he didn't turn in the the, the pink tail. Oh no, oh goodness. Jeebus. Oh, he he. All right, our our tracker's gonna confirm if we just missed it or um. Yeah. Well, I can't think that... I don't think he turned it in, because he hasn't been above ground since finding the pink tail. Um, we hope Jeebus remembers before getting to Z. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we, we, like, a, a, we like a close race in Free Enterprise. We... we not like this though. Um, no, we don't like uh, it like this. No, this is this is not the way to have a close race. I mean, hopefully he at least. Uh, oh, it looks like he remembered. Oh, okay. Well, it, it it's gonna it's gonna make things interesting. It's gonna make things I, I think a little closer than um, <laughs> than we initially thought. Uh, I, I think Jim is still kind of has things in hand. Uh, Slippery has, um, you know, a, a little bit to go for his grind if he's going to go the same amount of sirens that Jeebus is. But um, yeah, <laughs> thank goodness he remembered, um, you know, before walking the rest of the way down the Z. Yeah. Uh, goodness, I mean, it's, it's good that he didn't get too far down the lunar subterranean because that walk is long. Yeah, I, I can't imagine what it would be like to go all the way down, get to Z, go in your inventory and say, oh my goodness, where's my crystal? But Jeebus has now turned in the pink tail, obtained his crystal, uh, gets another thing to throw, yeah, um, <laughs> I guess if you're, you're you're gonna get something to throw, that's that's quite a nice thing to throw. Um, I would have liked to see a spoon there, but you know beggars can't be choosers. And in Jeepa's case, I think he's just um, breathing a sigh of relief, and and you know maybe even feels like he might be behind, um, you know, by by taking that little gaunt down to the moon and, and having to take it back. Death is pointing out there is a cane to use that Avenger. He's just up in Zot behind Val and Ogo, which neither of our runners want to deal with. As, oh my goodness, as as jetty as this seed has been, I honestly had, forgo had forgotten about that at this point. You know, we're an hour into this. We're about to complete Z, right? And we... Yeah, both of our runners went through that Zot, uh, one choosing to go through Val and the other one deciding to reset out. Uh, Jeebus went through Val, 
and noped out of that uh, Ogopogo and Slippery decided, no, nope, I want nothing to do with that now. So, uh, so we did get a glimpse at those two characters. Or one of them was a vanilla cane. Chat now, um, realizing that uh, Jeebus has his crystal in hand, getting um, a little, little anxious. Um, I don't blame them, but we're not, uh, we're not to the core yet. Um, so, yeah, uh, we still have a little bit of a walk down, but um, definitely appreciate the enthusiasm. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of enthusiasm about uh, something going on in the chat. Yeah, um, I don't, I don't even know what it's about. Um, Z question mark sleeping. I, I, I'm not even. Quite I mean, sure. I'm gonna have to have you explain it. I, I know I could really use a nap, but uh, as Jeebus walks right past the save point, doing a swag walk. Um, Wow, uh, either feeling very confident or feeling very behind, and I will love to ask him that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, but uh, the thing that uh, chat is getting at with all of these flags coming out in chat is uh, we don't randomize where Zeromus is, because Zeromus is hard. Uh, Big Bang is a scary attack. Uh, Zeromus' spot is honestly scary. I would not want to fight a lot of bosses there. But, uh, so we leave the final boss where he is, because, you know, it's the final boss. You leave him where he is, and he does the same things, and it's the one, like, predictable part of the randomizer, but, uh, the part of that we like to have be unpredictable is what Zoromis looks like, because he has, I think, 526 different costumes that he can put on. So, uh, I'll let you ask the question if you'd like to, idiot. Oh, thank you very much. Um, well, the question indeed is, whose butt are we going to kick tonight? And as Skylar Kitty has pointed out, I think we all hope that it's going to be a cute butt to kick. Indeed, I am a big fan of uh, some of the amazing Zoroma sprites, many of which are designed by the wonderful Skylar Kitty. Getting this news momentarily, and that crystal comes through. And we have a Hookmas. Uh, well, that, I mean, that makes sense. This was a hook seed. <laughs> indeed, it, indeed, it was a hook seed. Um, I guess, depending on your viewpoint, um, he could be considered cute. Um, I don't know that I would. I, I, I think it's a very a very well done sprite, um, but uh, cute, um, unfortunately, I don't know is what I would uh, consider consider him. Yeah, not sure I would use the, the word cute to describe uh, this class. Jeebus setting up for, um, you know, I'm not sure if it's going to be pure reflex strats, I would have to, uh, you know, imagine, or it's going to be some kind of hybrid where he's going to kind of do the, you know, requisite amount of damage to make sure that he doesn't tip uh, Zeromus' uh, HP refill script. Um, you know, but I'm not sure if he did. Um, yeah, so it actually looks like he did Zerk um, both of his uh, Edge and uh, Sid. So it's going to be a hybrid uh, hybrid strat here. Yep, uh, looks like just a standard full-on hybrid, just doing all the damage with all of the characters. Certainly the uh, certainly the safest uh, play to take. Um, you know, we have Whites coming out, we have Nukes coming out, Edge and Sid are, you know, putting out about 
you know, Sid's putting out maybe close to 2K, Edge putting out close to 3K, so, um, you know, nice quad nine nuke there. So either way, uh, Zeromus will not be uh, long for this world uh, as long as, you know, um, you know, we get this cure four off and uh, we don't take a high roll big bang uh, to, you know, our, uh, our Porum. Yeah, Quorum is a little bit on the squishy side, but uh, with this damage output, I'm probably looking at uh, just about seeing a second Big Bang, maybe getting into Big Bang into Meteo territory, but we probably won't see more than two Big Bangs. Yeah, those quad nines, that Stardust Rod, just putting in just uh, so much great work. Yeah, uh... Talon can do some real work with Nuke, and Torum throwing in this white spell is definitely helping. Yeah, as Chad has pointed out, um, Jeebus did use that bluff uh, too to buff up the, the damage of that Nuke. And we have rocks. Yeah, once we hit that point, that pretty much guarantees um, we're gonna be through this uh, just very, very momentarily. And there's the flash. Jeebus has finished this race in first place with a time of one hour, Eight minutes and thirty-nine seconds. GG's to Jeebus. Yes, GG's indeed. As we uh, wait to see if they're going to be coming on for uh, an interview, um, and we are joined by Jeebus. Uh, Jeebus, uh, GG's. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I think we all share your. Um, you know your 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 kind of uh, uh, heart skip moment there when you know you're walking down through the lunar subterrane and realize you didn't have your crystal in hand. Um, you know uh, what was that? What was that like for you walking down and realizing it? That was so awful. I got the pink tail from the uh, from the chest in the fame mark, and I thought to myself, okay, let's either find or steal siren, do up our grind. I have ten key items. Do not forget to turn in the pink tail. Don't forget to turn in the pink tail. You've lost races because of this. Please don't forget to turn in the pink tail. And then about halfway down to the lunar core, I thought to myself, I looked at my tracker. I didn't mark the crystal and I thought to myself, oh geez, I forgot to turn in the pink tail. Oh God, not again. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, uh, we saw that, we saw that, uh, 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 sort of thought process go through your head when you walked right past the save point in the lunar subterrane on the way yeah <laughs> yeah was that you like um you know was that you just thinking you were behind at that point you know um or was that a, a, a swag walk uh <laughs> down to z it was a little of column a a little bit of column b because with the party that I had, at the levels that I had, with the equipment that I had, I knew I was going to beat Zeromus. Uh, I had estimated maybe two Big Bangs at the very most, maybe not even a second one. And I thought I was, I had made a few errors in there that were extremely costly. Uh, the one going up Zot and forgetting that to turn into Big Tail. So I thought to myself, okay, if I can save just a little bit of time, I might as well. I know I'm going to win, so let's just not take the save. Yeah, I mean, just a all-around Jetty seed that, you know, uh, you executed really, you know, quite well. Um, you know, it, it, it helped that um, Slippery kind of made the same, uh, you know, same play going up the Zot. Um, you know, didn't dive it in deeply into um, Zot, you know, as you did, but, um, you know, the fact that they did, I think, 
you know, I mean, you you both were really neck and neck for most of the seed. It was uh, really, really quite entertaining to watch. You both uh, did not disappoint. You both put on a just a, a fantastic uh, performance. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, man, that's, that's sad, though. When I went up there, uh, once I got through Val, just by throwing all those spears in the treasury, I thought to myself, okay, I can probably handle whatever comes my way here. I got Sid, he's doing a decent amount of damage, Radius doing damage for the Stardust Rod. There's only like, what, 6,000 HP here? How bad could it be? And, um, yeah, I'll go Pogo. Yeah, o Ogopogo is not a nice boss, uh, especially <laughs> when you're that low on DPS, on your physical. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I had n no source of Berserk at that point, and uh, right, like yeah, half, they... my, <laughs> half my DPS just goes out the window because of all his blaze counters that he has. Yeah. It was just... I think I should have reset out a little bit faster, but I thought maybe I could just... I don't know, pull off some kind of miracle, but eh, that didn't happen. Yeah, well, uh... Yeah, in the, in the meantime, actually, Slippery has uh, just finished um, his um, Z race. Um, we'll get the official time in a moment, but, you know, should be finishing in uh, just under an hour and uh, 13 minutes. So, yeah, they were, yeah, uh, just about five, you know, um, four, five minutes right behind you. Uh, There will be a little bit of a desync in the uh, time from what we see due to the lag issues. Uh, it looks like the final time was a 1 hour 12 minutes and 34 seconds. So, just under 4 minutes difference. Yeah, um, Zeno, do you have any you know questions for uh, for Jeebus before we uh, bring Slippery in? Uh, any... Just Jeebus, any final thoughts on that uh, very jetty seed? Yeah, these kind of seeds are really just kind of terrifying, to be honest with you. Uh, you have no idea where your opponent is, if you made the same checks, if they made the same kind of errors, and then... I, but, you know, it's a lot of fun. My heart was racing at the end, there, especially down to the walk to see. Uh, going down, what, 10, 11 floors of a dungeon, just you start to reflect on all the things that happen and i was thinking to myself wow i really i can't believe that has pulled a jet seat on us again <laughs> <laughs> that this does have a habit of doing i mean it's in his tagline vanilla or jet and we I, definitely saw the jet side tonight absolutely um i want to give a shout out and thanks to our restreamers tonight we have lady id and Xenocat on uh, comms tonight. We have Dathus as a restreamer and Scythe Marshall on tracking. Um, I had a lot of fun. Uh, GG's to Slippery. That was a very close race. And uh, have a good night, everybody. Yeah, GG's to you. Congratulations on going to 3 and M. OK, that was. Uh... Jeebus, and um, now we are joined by uh, Slippery. Uh, Slippery, GG's on your win. Um, how are you feeling? Um, all right. Uh, hopefully uh, my voice is coming through a little more clearly than my uh, my stream quality did. Yeah, <laughs> my apologies your voice, to the viewers. Is, your voice is, we're hearing it loud and clear. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah kind um, of a disappointing loss, but um, I think I played it pretty well. Um, aside from swinging for the fences at Zot, um, and running into a bit of a wall there that I didn't think was worth uh, worth trying to beat down. No, you. I mean, in, in all honesty, you and Jeebus were neck and neck the entire uh, the entire seed. You know, Jeebus decided to dive that zot um, a little bit more than you did. You you reset out of that. Um, so, you know that kind of you know gave you the edge. You know for a little bit, but really even you know going down the hook route. Um, and even after, um, you really were neck and neck. Um, the only, I think the only difference was, you know, you went for those Fay March checks and, you know, Jeebus didn't. But other than that, it, you ran a 
fantastically run seed. Um, you know, uh, it really, yeah, really should hold your head high uh, for this. Oh, yeah, for sure. And uh, jetty seeds are always pretty exciting, too. Um, I think my practice seed I ran last night was uh, basically a 17 out of 17. So <laughs> this was the uh, the opposite of that. It certainly was. Uh, yeah, just so many things that just ended up being not required. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's it's not often that I, like, skip Dwarf Castle, <laughs> you know? Yeah, um, it's <laughs> just with a seed like this, it's, you know, hard to, to I don't want to say hard to talk about, but it just, it's, you know, we're, we're here, we're, we're doing the introduction, and then up, we're, we're at Z. I mean, just having those two characters out of the way, you know, having that Edward on the moon, having that edge, um, you know, just just made it just so like, okay, well, and then getting, you know, that adamant um, and then the legend sword and then the pink tail, it was just all coalesced, um, you know, but you still had to get through, um, you know, there were some rude bosses, but, you know, you still also had to execute along the way. Yeah, and uh, the scene gave us, uh, I think, pretty much all the, uh, all the things we really needed to get through some of those uh, obnoxious bosses. I mean, Besides Val, uh, and I could have probably darted some stuff, but I was uh, being a typical JRPG hoarder and uh, holding those for Z, and then I ended up getting a mage party and didn't need them in anyway. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, goodness. The best part about that treasury that was full of spears was that Kane was vanilla in Zot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which Jeebus was kind enough to show us after darting all of the spears at Val. <laughs> Yeah, um, I mean, you know, uh, you beat Z in about two minutes time, you know, according to our, our, our tracker. So, um, you know, this this race was, uh, you know, just came down to just one extra, you know, kind of, you know, check. But yeah, it's so close, um, you know, uh, as we mentioned to Jeebus, you know, he put on a fantastic show, you put on a fantastic show. I mean, it was just a phenomenal race tonight. Yeah, and I got plenty of practice doing uh, reflect strats in the uh, the table stage of the uh, the previous tournament, so uh, I felt comfortable with that. But uh, you know, how about the uh, the excitement with the unnerfed Big Bang off the bat? Yeah, that yeah. was a little bit uh, scary <laughs> in the booth. We were all like, "Oh no!" That that one extra siren I I popped even after Rydia had uh, had nuke. I was like, oh, one more just in case, and it turned out <laughs> totally necessary. Yeah, that, that, that little bit of extra HP and definitely uh, saved your butt there. <laughs> yeah, um, any, other, um, any other final thoughts um, before we, we close it out? Uh, not really, just uh, GG's to uh, Jeebus. That was a pretty solid run uh, from uh, him to, uh, to get through that fast. <laughs> Uh, you know, Cad, you have any any final thoughts for Slippery? No. Uh, I just want to thank you again for letting us watch you race. Yeah, and I'll, uh, I'll try and figure out my hardware problems to uh, to make the uh, the next one a little bit less unpleasant for the uh, the viewing audience. Yeah, yeah. I hope you do um, because yeah, we we love to um you know continue to watch your races um you know it, it, especially if they're as well executed as this one um so yeah we'll be rooting for you um ggs again and um you know have a great night thanks a lot you too okay that was slippery um that is going to wrap it up uh for us here on random media um we are about to uh throw it over to Commander uh, Leonhardt in a moment, um, doing some uh, some Lolly Ho practice, I believe. Um, Xenocat, any final thoughts before we close um, the evening out? Uh, not really, just want to give one last shout out to Dathis, our restreamer, for rolling this spectacular seed, uh, Scythe Marshal for pushing all the buttons, uh, and shout outs to you, Lady Ed, for being a great co-commentator. Yeah, yeah, it was great being in the booth again with you tonight. Um, 
you know, I uh, also want to give shout outs to, you know, our tracker and restreamer, um, you know, both did a phenomenal job uh, with this. Um, Dathis, um, you know, uh, we have to unfortunately blame you for this, uh, uh, this seed um, <laughs> and all the associated problems, but, you know, <laughs> uh, it, 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 I'm gonna have to have my heart slow down uh, a little bit after this. <laughs> um, but, you know, thank you everyone for um, coming out tonight. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, we'll throw it over to Commander Leonhardt and, um, you know, give him a, a big, um, you know, give him a big uh, shout out. And uh, please, for anyone going into his chat, no spoilers about this race for anyone that does want to check out the VOD. Um, Otherwise, you will get the uh, newspaper from Scala, and uh, nobody wants to see that. So uh, we're going to send it over to Commander, and everyone have a great night. Yep, have a good night.